Hello, hope you're having a great day. Now this morning, I seem to be getting through my morning routine pretty quickly, despite the fact that between a couple of the steps of my morning routine, I have been scrolling on my phone for a couple of minutes. And the reason I'm getting through my morning routine quite quickly, despite that, is that the first step of my morning routine went better than I can ever remember. As you'll know if you've been watching these videos, I have a bit of a battle I have to win every morning when I wake up at half seven. I normally sit on the foot end of my bed and it can take up to 30 minutes for me to persuade myself to get going, you know. I sit there and I have half of my mind telling me to go back to sleep and giving me excuses why I should go back to sleep and then half of my mind, you know, trying to battle it and it's like, no, get up, be a tired winner, you know, etc., etc. Well, this morning I was sitting on the end of the bed Tired, but I had no thoughts telling me to go back to bed. I just had the thoughts telling me to get up and get going. You know, I still had the tiredness, but I didn't have any thoughts that were trying to find excuses for me to go back to bed, which is awesome. Now, I'm not going to start counting my chickens and expect that to happen every morning, but it's definitely something that I noticed today, and I'm really grateful for that. So I ended up actually just sitting there for like five minutes and then getting up and getting going. Admittedly, by the time I'd been to the toilet and weighed myself and then had my pints and pints of water and my salt water, my vitamin C, brushed my teeth, got all my layers on ready for my walk around the block. It was eight o'clock, but, you know, that's uh, still way earlier than, than usual. You know, sometimes I don't actually get off the foot end of my bed until eight o'clock. So, yeah, I've sort of got a, a nice head start on my morning routine today. And it's now nine o'clock. And after I went for my walk, I've written my journal. And in between that and sort of meditating, I found myself scrolling on my phone. But yeah, now I, I have meditated. And um, yeah, it's it's nine o'clock, which is which is awesome. Now, today I've got boxing at 12. But it means I've got, uh, you know, a few hours between now and then. Now, over the last few Saturdays, I've ended up not doing a workout at home because I've got boxing at 12. I've ended up not having a cold shower at home just because I haven't um, done my home workout. And I've been sort of going to the gym in the evening as well as doing boxing at 12 because, yeah, I just haven't knocked out my free gym sessions throughout the week. Well, this week I have. You know, my free gym sessions are done. I've done my arm and chest last night. So, um, yeah, I don't need to go to the gym this evening, but I think I am going to knock out a, a back session here at home this evening. But, um, yeah, that's later on. But, yeah, I think I'm actually going to do myself some uh, token push-ups and token sit-ups, seeing as, you know, it is still a good few hours before boxing. We will end up doing loads of push-ups and sit-ups in boxing, so I'm not going to be going to failure with my ones here at home. I'm just going to do 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups, and then, yeah, just do that twice, and then uh, jump in a cold shower, and then have my healthy breakfast. All right, I am on the way to boxing, getting a lift from my beautiful girlfriend, Kat. And got to be honest, I'm feeling a bit broken. My body's definitely a bit achy and a bit fatigued, but that's just a sign of my lifestyle. And you can't make an omelet without cracking a few eggs, right? Now, after my breakfast, I had time to dive into some editing before I got ready for boxing, which was good. And there's a chance that I might be able to get the next video out on the other channel tomorrow, but... I've got a busy afternoon planned today with a few bits I want to crack on with and potentially a busy day tomorrow. So we'll just have to see how much editing I can fit in and around all of that. But um, yeah, as long as I stay busy, then, you know, my conscience is clear and, you know, the video will be released when it's released. But for now, I need to get myself mentally prepared for boxing. Obviously, looking forward to it. I always love going to boxing. Always really look forward to it. As usual, I'm not sure which coach is going to be taking the class. Um, if it's Saud, it will be very, very intense in terms of fitness. If it's Joe, then it will be uh, more technical stuff and I might end up doing some head sparring, but uh, I'll just wait and see. Whatever the case, I'm going to go there and uh, try my best and get the most out of the session that I can. Push my body to the limit because um, that's what it's all about. 
All right, I am back home after an awesome boxing session. Honestly, this session was probably the closest I've come to being sick. It was that intense. It was with Coach Saud, so it was uh, more fitness-based, but uh, yeah, we'd done loads of bag work, loads of um, body sparring, and um, yeah, I literally felt absolutely spent and then uh, just continued to push myself because as Saud said today, Andy said before, and it's very true, you know, when you get to that point where you feel like you can't go on and then you push beyond that, because you can always go beyond what your mind tells you. Um, yeah, it's in that realm of beyond spent where the uh, the growth is made, you know, where you can improve your fitness, where you can lose weight if, if that's what you need to do. Um, so, you know, it is all about pushing past that point where you truly believe you can't carry on. And, um, yeah, it was... Uh, Really intense. Some of the body sparring we were doing today, there was a couple of guys there that were really going for it, um, which is always cool, you know. Um, you know, you sort of give as much as you get, you know. And uh, a lot of the body sparring we were doing today as well is where you have to keep your left foot right next to theirs. So you're just literally right next to each other and you're just throwing punches and giving them and taking them, you know, uh, rather than sort of you know, dancing around and trying to uh, avoid punches. So, um, yeah, it is really intense where you just you can't move out of the way. You're just literally throwing punches and taking them. And there was uh, one lad that I was body sparring with today in particular, and um, he's a lighter than me, but he's ripped and he hits hard. And he was just, he was just giving it. He was a lot younger than me. Like he could, you know, handle a lot more than me, you could say in terms of fitness. And um, yeah, <laughs> we were both proper giving it to each other. And uh, yeah, it was awesome. I was actually contemplating, you know, at the end of my session, I was sitting on the ring and just waiting for Kat to ring me to let me know she was outside to pick me up. And I was literally sitting there thinking, right, I'm definitely not doing my back session at home today and I'm going to have a day off fitness completely tomorrow. But um, I'm not sure if that's the case anymore. It's just in that moment, my mind was dragging me into the future and sort of making me believe that it was beyond possibility for me to bang out a back session here at home and for me to do any fitness tomorrow. When in reality, how do I know in that moment, what I'm going to be capable of this evening or tomorrow. You know, why am I making that decision and and ruling out uh, that fitness that that you know I've kind of planned to do um, when I don't need to think about that yet. So I'll make my mind up later on if I'm going to do my back session, and I'll make my mind up tomorrow if I'm going to be doing any fitness or if I'm going to be having a full day off. But how I feel now, I don't feel so. <laughs> destroyed that um, you know it's beyond possibility to do my back session later and to uh, do any fitness tomorrow so you know I'm glad that nowadays I can see things for what they are you know when I'm having thoughts about the future and making decisions that I don't need to make I'm grateful that you know through my practice of analyzing my mind etc I'm able to you know remind myself in that moment that I don't need to make that decision right there and then you know and um yeah, just bring myself back to the present moment to focus on what I do need to in that moment, which was getting my breath back and uh, getting my stuff ready uh, to sort of leave the boxing gym. But yeah, I know I've said it so many times before, but I absolutely love boxing. Like, it is such a challenge. But what I've learned is that, uh, especially for a man, the key to a happy life, to a content life, to a life that you can be proud of is to push yourself and is to uh, lean into discomfort. So yeah, boxing's awesome. Anyway, I need to have a shower now. I've got a couple of little things that I wanna do here at home to do with my latest project. And if I can bang them out, then I can spend the rest of the afternoon with Kat. She's just gone food shopping, but she said she might wanna have a walk around um, the local shopping center after that. Uh, and I need to get my dad her birthday card and, and so on for his birthday. So yeah, if I can bang out what I need to here and then join her for that shopping trip, that'd be cool. All right, car tasks completed, and it's time for some lunch. But this time, I mean, it is still a chicken sarnie, but we're having proper chicken, not the old uh, sliced stuff, marinated as well. Mmm. And once I've wolfed this down, then we're going to go out shopping, see if we can find my dad a birthday card and present. Our shopping trip was very successful. Managed to get my dad a birthday card and, and a present. Tonight, we are having steak for dinner. 
absolutely love steak, but before that, I wanna have another workout. I'm gonna crack on with some sort of back and shoulder stuff. I'm gonna do some bent over rows with a bar. Then I'll do some bent over single arm rows just because my left lat is so much smaller than my right. Then I'll do some shrugs with the bar. And then I'll do uh, sort of a bent over, similar to the rear delt exercise, but holding the uh, dumbbells like this rather than like this. So yeah, that's the three exercises. Gonna do two sets of each. And yeah, I just wanna bang this out jump in the shower and then I can enjoy my steak and chill out with my beautiful girlfriend and watch a movie because um, I'll be satisfied that I've done enough uh, working hard today. <sighs> Dinner is served. Ribeye steak with two eggs, loads of veg, and uh, sweet potato fries yet again. Absolutely love sweet potatoes. Obviously, having mustard with my steak, and obviously, gonna have a protein yogurt afterwards. Although, my beautiful girlfriend forgot to bring that in. I forgive you. <laughs> and actually, this evening, we're gonna sit down and watch a movie, and we're gonna eat some crap. Gonna eat some crisps, although we choose crisps that are healthy as crisps go. And uh, I'm thinking I might go around to our little Tesco's around the corner and get some biscuits to dip in tea because I'm that English. See, it's not all health, 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 health. I do, uh, you know, treat myself once in a while, but um, not in the same way I used to. I um, put crap in my belly now and again rather than putting crap up my nose. Anyway, my mouth's watering, need to eat this. All right, it is now half 10, and me and my beautiful girlfriend are gonna have an early night after watching the uh, Lamborghini film that was out uh, a few years ago. We didn't see it then. Um, yeah, very interesting hearing the sort of story of the Lamborghini car brand, or that was tractors, first of all. But yeah, just having my smoothie that I have every day, kiwi fruit, frozen blueberries, natural yogurt, and pomegranate juice. But yeah, loads of crisps and biscuits tonight. So um, that'll help me get my calories up. We'll see what the scales say tomorrow. But I'm actually feeling absolutely knackered today, but it's deserved because I've been working so hard. I've had two workouts here at home, went to boxing, you know, done some other bits as well. So um, I've said before, when you, you're tired at the end of the day because you've been going at it, it feels good. I remember in my past not being able to sleep without weed. You know, I remember in my past, you know, it's half 10 now on a Saturday night, right? So, so many times in my past at half 10, I'd probably be half a gram of sniff down just having my bath at home, you know, starting my Saturday night. You know, nowadays I work hard all day and I get to the end of the day at half 10, 11, and I'm ready for bed and it's great. You know, today has been a busy day. It's been another day where I get to live this clean and healthy life and the journey continues. Tomorrow's Sunday, which is a rest day for most people, but you know, I've got things that I want to do. We're probably going to go and see either Kat's parents or my parents, but I definitely want to um, get busy with some stuff. We're hoping to go around to the other garage if the weather's good. But um, yeah, I'm not actually sure whether I'm going to be doing any working out tomorrow because my shoulders are absolutely killing. Cat was uh, giving me a massage earlier with a massage gun. Um, you know, I don't want to be a little bitch. I don't want to be a pussy. I want to go hard every day. But I've said before, you know, if I'm going to ignore my mind when my mind is trying to tap out and your mind always taps out way before you're, you know, anywhere near danger. But, you know, if my body's giving me signs, then maybe I need to have a day off. But I don't need to decide that now. I can decide that tomorrow. All I need to do now is get ready for bed. And that's what I'm going to do once I've drunk my smoothie. 
So as always, massive thanks to everyone who's tuned in. Hope this video has been somewhat helpful or motivational. Feel free to say hello in the comments and we'll have a chat or get in touch through any of the other channels if you'd rather talk to me in private through my Facebook or Instagram. All the links to everything will be in the description as usual. But uh, other than that, I'll chat to you tomorrow.